Hello and welcome back to Mech Warrior Fight Action, aka Battle Tech. My name is Saiken, and today we're continuing the Swan Swan campaign, where I'm trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty with everything cranked up to the maximum. It is time for the price of discretion. Uh, today we're working for the local government. Typically, I don't like to do that because it is wasted. Uh, mm, a wasted opportunity. The local government does not have any reputation that's relevant for us. Why? The contrary, we're just losing our influence with other targets. But we got to get money. And this here is a lot of money. That is 1.1 mil. If we get multiplicators uh, on that one, it can even multiplicate. Uh, or multiply itself up to 1.5 million tundra is a wonderful biome as well so we're loading the typical mechs with the typical crew hogbite is going to lead it together with the breadboard mox and lily as we are continuing the struggle two and a half uh, schools mission that is going to be a rather uh, more difficult mission uh, the hardest one that we did so far is two and a half schools so Let's get ready for some rumbling. All right, let's uh, deploy two and a half skulls. How hard can that be? I'm just kidding. It can be pretty hard. We could fight up to uh, um, heavy mechs, so gotta be careful here. Don't need to tell me twice. Sprinting on that road, and you can see how fast the griffin is that is fantastic on my way good time to almost get there but not quite i want to make sure that we're starting on this side here you betcha move water receive Good. Let's keep our friends alive, destroy the enemy reinforcements, and make sure that all of our units are surviving. Well, how hard can that be? Pretty, I can tell you. Pretty hard. So we gotta rush fast. You can already smell that there are some enemies up, lurking there. On the move. Moving up. And luckily the street here offers such a nice movement bonus so that we're always having uh, these high evasion blips. Unfortunately, we have just met the enemies and we're fighting upwards. Oh, I remember that map. This here is kind of water and it runs all the way to here. The last time that I played it, there were even further reinforcements coming. Hmm. I hope that that is not the case this time. Got a light mech, got a medium mech. Standing by. Got another medium mech. Standing by. The APCs are clever. They're not just rushing Waiting in. Lily takes the point position here. Massive, massive sprint stick, so we're good. I Command. saw a commando. That is the first mech that we spotted out. Potentially just sprinting this round. Going full throttle. Good. Everybody has like four or five uh, blips, so at least our mechs are safe. Got a commando. And the APC here is already taking some damage. No, we're staying on reserve. 
There's not that much we can do, really. An assassin. I don't want to jump in and then immediately get pu uh, punished. Standing by. Oh, Wolverine. All right. Well, first vehicle is gone. Make no mistake, by the way, they would have still killed it. Uh, there is I hear ya. only so much you can do. Sasson definitely is our main target. Let's reduce his initiative for next round. Commencing alpha strike. Holy shit. All right, maybe yeah, that is not hit. even needed anymore. Yeah, okay, good. Assassin. Yes, command. Thank you. Receiving you. Vindicator right. moves up. And the Wolverine also has only like very moderate armor. Engaging. That means they've loaded more guns, as you can see. But that is a fantastic example why you would not want to just go for half armor. Like the pure alpha strike build is not working well in this game. Nice little hit uh, in the head. Wolverine is almost completely out of steam. Griffin moves up. And let's unload. See, that's the problem. After the first round, he's almost down. Half of the weapons are gone. So, what are those weapons good for? If you're immediately losing half of them, right? The fire starter takes some damage, but nothing to be entirely concerned about. That's what I was looking for. And let's precision strike to make sure that the guy does not get an initiative this round. Or even dies immediately. Nice one. Something I can do. Good to go. Lockbite moves up. Fully unloading on this commando. Holy shit! Hmm. Well, for once, uh, we're getting the heavier mechs and, yeah, a light mech at this you? point without evasion stacks. Not a good idea. All done. Three mechs down. We lost one vehicle. Not perfect, but okay. Good. I think we're going to see a new initiative role here. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. By the way, fun fact, they are landing with kind of a spacecraft and instead of having some weapons loaded on it, uh, it is always completely pacifistic. They got a raven. Ooh, okay. Well, the enemy is trying to beat us with the very same methods that we have used before. <laughs> Vindicator on top of it. Okay, cool. So, Vindicator, Spider, Raven. That could have been our lance. One to one. Good to go. Firestarter sprints and moves up. Order. No, that's not worth it. We're sprinting, Got optimizing our heat. 
Redford Sprints. And I think we could do that. Now Griffin takes a precision shot. Not fantastic. But the spider is so incredibly squishy that even with uh, suboptimal aim, we're okay. Yeah, well, when the enemy controls a raven, it al almost always becomes like a joke. And I don't know why, but they are not capable of, like, truly understanding it. Look at that. Like, that was their entire shtick. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh-huh. Now, what they fail to understand is, if you position yourself so incredibly bad, then you're going to be shut Want down. More, huh? yeah. Mox takes All a shot here. And that was uh, the Any equipment. Roger that. Redford going for the Vindicator. Target confirmed. And finally, Hawkbite. Oh, no. Let's go all in with the Griffin here. Indicator is down to one initiative, so he will definitely not take a turn next round. All right, fair enough. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Got it. Pastata moves over, and let's continue with the Raven. I think this will actually kill it. <laughs> That's a kill. Ready for order. No problem. Good. Mox continues. Given them everything I've got. And the Vindicator almost Critical drops into two halves. Orders. Our Vindicator, on the other hand. I get you. On the move. Is finishing the guy. I almost feel bad for the enemies. Like, this here is a perp stomp. Alright, attacking the spider. Spider tries its very best to do something. <laughs> Systems are holding. Good. Commander? So this guy will potentially regret that he attacked us. Well, so much for the one million. I think that mission went incredibly well. So much so that it was almost a speed run. We got a little bit increased uh, payout. Uh, that's 1.2 million. Not bad. 500 XP. That was. I'm happy that I have not selected salvage for this mission because it would have been so disappointing to salvage like all of those light mechs.
Good. So, let's continue with our contract, shall we? That is a battle mission in the Badlands. I hate the Badlands. Because uh, that's really not, we're really not good at fighting in those conditions. Got enough money, so the 520 salvage mission might be not too bad. I guess tund Tundra is an environment. And what do we need to do? Oh, attack and defend. That's an interesting type. It's one of the longest ones. I'll take that for the next episode. Uh, this usually takes like 40, 50 minutes. So a fast one. Let's see. Ambush convoy. Reasonably fast. Battle is potentially the fastest here. Still a 520 salvage mission. And typically those missions are... The, the pirate missions are typically always good. So got a battle, two and a half uh, difficulty, same standard setup, and let's deploy. All right, and here we go. It is a mission in the Highlands. We have uh, just landed. The mechs are ready to go, and it's a two and a half school mission. That can only mean uh, that we have problems ahead of us. And for a moment, that was... Uh, for a moment, you could uh, see the illumination here, and I swear it was either a quick draw or um, or a catapult that was standing there. Either way, there's one potentially something else happening there. So potentially a second uh, squad coming from here. This looks an awful lot like a trap, so let's take the high ground up here and fight them from over here. Moving out. Speed there in the gym. Good sprinting. Rust the high ground. We got a black check, so it's black check on black check. I've got something. Another medium mech, which sort of uh, still no. for a moment it looked like there would be another mech, but it just ends up to be a tree. All right. Good Haven't to go. Found anything else? Good enough. By. Let's start with fire starter here. Hmm. I mean, we could jump, but that would not get us in range. Let's take the high ground here for now. And we're bracing, so Lily is tanking. Commander. In the meantime, let's get into the forest here and start beating up the blackjack. Couple of hits, that's already good. Griffin moves all the way up to the front and we're going to head back in a second. <coughs> Some solid hits. Good to go. <clears throat> and in the meantime, we're just sprinting. We can do this. Let's go. I still want to get up. Yeah, I figured. It was like so obvious that there was another Lance. It, if you play the game long enough, you just know when it is trying to you? trick you, right? Ready for order. Good. We're doing exactly what I mentioned we would do, which is 
get completely out of uh, range. And let them deal with the situation. Griffin is moving up. Waiting on you, Commander. Affirmative. And we're continuing to sprint further. Affirmative. It is a crap. It was not a catapult. That is reassuring. The crap itself is not the worst uh, enemy that we could meet. Ready, Jumping up. Another Cicida. Okay, cool. Yeah. The Cicida is not particularly threatening. <clears throat> Tell me what to shoot. Two hits for the blackjack. And I think we're going to use this round here just to kind of reevaluate the situation. Jumping back, racing. They should not be able to reach us. Good to go. On my way, double time. We're taking a nice high ground up here. Got something you want done? Fantastic. I love the mobility of the Griffin. Super helpful. Very good. Good, we got a nice position up here. Let's stay in reserve and let them act. I don't see any reason for... for speeding this up. Good, fantastic. That is great. Unfortunately, we wouldn't reach that guy. Got it. Okay, the blackjack needs to take some damage. You can see their pilots. The guy here has bulwark. What's their up, pilots Amanda? are way more experienced than we are. And unfortunately, need to sprint to the front line. What up, boss? Maximum speed. Good. So the only one that we could actually use in order to shoot, standing right here. And hop out. Let's go for the blackjack. Engaging target. Good. So far, so good. There's a fire starter. We <clears throat> might want to be careful. Let's put everybody else on reserve. Let them come a bit closer. Okay, two hits. Good enough. These two here take minus 40% damage. So I am wondering if this here plus vigilance. Wait a second. We have 40% damage reduction. Vigilance would make it 60. I think we we are okay without it. The guy has six jump jets. We do not want the fire starter to come up here. Fantastic. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay. Well, minus forty percent. Griffin still stands firm. Blackjack. 
moves here. That's again precision shot. Fully unload. Right, fire start is almost down. Cedar really doesn't mean anything. Like the the damage potential of the Cedar is neglect neglectable at best. Waiting on you, Commander. Waiting for orders. All right, moving over here. Moving out. Indicate uh, interacts with a blackjack. The blackjack will still have the chance to shoot. Quad lasers. That is okay. Engaging target. Okay, the fire starter potentially needs to uh, use vigilance. Waiting for orders. Or alternatively, we're just sore. pulling her over here. Yeah, and for now we're fine. Indicators tanking the rest, and that's okay. Systems holding. Come on, net warriors! It's go time. I hear ya. Now that wouldn't be enough. Jumping down and vigilance, no medium lasers, and this should technically be enough. Almost. Want some more, huh? Good, fire starter is, yeah. is out. Ready to get it on. Griffin begins to move over again. Vigilance and to make sure that we're tanking their shots. Blackjack is almost down. You got wow, we got hear me? another crap. So lots of mo uh, medium mechs. Let's go for the crab. I bet you're gonna like this. But that 60% damage reduction the Griffin tanks very well at this point. Commander. Aye, aye. Indicate the continues to go ahead and hopefully we can get down the blackjack mm, one hit point left over that is unfortunate taking quite a bit of retaliation fire in return and they make no mistake they do have uh, the higher firepower overall just more mechs they do have on their side so we do have the substantial better position All right, we're almost down the right arm. Armor breach, internal damage. Good to go. Okay, okay. I think Lily can stay where she's at. 
this point. Yeah, minimum damage due to overheating, but that's okay. The crab finally moved out of uh, cover. So let's take this here as vigilance for the griffin because he needs to continue to tank. And we can deal more damage to the crab than we could deal otherwise. Reserve. Uh -huh. We still got 40% damage reduction and two blips. Which means we can actually tank the crabs quite a bit. Alright, uh, that here is the right arm. Which means if we position ourselves like this, the left arm would be tanking. Heading out. Should potentially use vigilance on the vindicator here. We're playing a little bit with line of sight. These guys right down here uh, will not be able to hit us. What can I do for you? All right, fire starter moves over. And let's fully unload uh -huh. on the other fire starter. There we go. That's a bit extra resolve that we're getting bad, uh, back. Cicida needs to move back because he uh, it was not having any valid targets. We're currently focusing on the crab. So let's abandon that left hand side here. Back check is a bit overheated, so I am considering to f uh, just move back for now and bracing. Getting that heat back next turn, we will move up and, and shoot again. The Griffin can tank in the meantime with 60% damage reduction. Good. Firestarter has a problem. So what we're going to do is we are going to go back. Uh, which side? Left arm. Okay, so right, we're yeah. jumping back and racing. Got a crab, got a Cicida, got a griffin. And we are overheating ourselves. So instead of mindlessly going in, let's uh, withdraw just a tiny bit. And we're going to do the same here with the Vindicator. Commander. Good. Sometimes you gotta use line of sight to your advantage. Yes, we will still get a few hits, but yeah, none of them are Order. really threatening. Could move to here. And let's use Vigilance, so that is 40% damage reduction. And we're just... I'm gonna give them the big bubble. Returning some fire. The name of the game here is really to be better with the attrition than the enemy. Having mechs in the front line 
that can uh, withstand a couple of blows and having Max in, in the back uh, to cool down. All right, Blackjack. Moving over here. Again, Vigilance. Let him be the one uh, tanking for now. Crab cat takes a lot of damage. Zero evasion. We have 80% hit chance. And you can see now they are resorting back to indirect fire. That's fine. Well, like I said, 40% uh, damage, damage reduction. We're putting everything on reserve. Cecita doesn't really matter. Okay, good. Griffin. We want to end up in the woods. Preferably at a location where not everybody can see us. Yeah, the fire starter, if I was to move in now, that would actually be a mistake. So what we will do is... I will sprint over. So far that we're out of uh, line of sight. Right arm is okay. Right arm is much stronger than the back, so we're just going to sprint Double over. Time. That re uh, still reduces our heat problem. We can jump in and the crab can order. die next turn. Our left arm is the quote-unquote good one. So we could stand here, but that would mean Bradford will take a lot of damage. Hogbite can take the uh, can tank the next round. So that is very exposed. I'm still looking for a position like this here, where we're essentially hitting only. A uh, few enemies, but were well protected from the others. Cicida is certainly not the best target, to be entirely honest. Moving out. Good. Black check. Target confirmed. Fantastic. That's one down. Got another crap down here. Yeah. What can I do you for? Forty percent damage reduction with the blackjack. is going to hurt. Let's use Vigilance. Problem is we don't have it for the Vindicator then. Actually, this still looks okay. Alright, so the crab lost one of uh, its segments. Time to fly. 
getting a bit closer. And this here potentially could be uh, un unlikely that that is going to be a kill, but I mean, we can try. Here we go. All right, fair enough. Yikes, that hit hard. Standing by. All right, perfect. Bradford can act before something uh, someone else can. Good. Left arm is still the one that is in front. Vigilance, because he will take quite a bit of damage. And let's hope that we can destroy the large laser. Can't, but we have destroyed a couple of heat sinks. Not that it matters. They will focus on the fire starter now. Griffin needs to be offered as an alternative. I mean, we could go for the Cecida, right? But the Cecida has such a low damage output that it is almost laughable. The Griffin, on the other hand, has a pretty respectable damage output. Specifically the LRM-10s. All right, still got an evasion blip left over. And now we got to retreat with the fire starter. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. All right, first things first. Yeah, I, I don't think that we would want to stand too close. I would like to attack it from the side, though. Vigilance and... This might be a kill. Right, Commander. Almost. That's a critical hit. Receiving you. Roger that. Indicator moves up. Griffin is the next target. Come on, fully unload. Damn it. Uh, uh, I'm losing weapons. I knew it that he uh, that he would try that. I was hoping he would not be able to reach. Something I can do. All right, Lily Whoa. definitely needs to get into safety. Okay, yeah, we got another crap down here. Gotta be careful there. Okay, we lost the machine guns and almost all of the other good stuff. Moving back and just running for now. That was a pretty damn good shot. Yes, command. Hmm. 
He is out of medium uh, laser range. Clever. Ready for orders. And I would say one of the things that we could do is let's no just go me. back. Just running. Right here. Moving out. And for now, make sure that we can actually get these guys down. Beat the cake. Fantastic. That's one crab, one cedar, and one centurion left. All right, cooling down. Rep is taking some shots and we're losing armor on the blackjack, so gotta be careful with that. Alright, the blackjack still stands. Griffin is in an interesting position. One that we could abuse to our advantage. Fantastic. PPC is down, which means he no longer has a full range advantage. And the blackjack here so needs to retreat. Receiving you. Good. Brace done. Yes, Commander. Good. We're focusing on the Griffin. The other two are out of range. We are going to reduce his initiative. Engaging target. Critical hit. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. All right, sprinting over here. Yeah, the Cecita is not a real threat. Yeah, what can I do you for? Aye, aye. Vindicator continues to hammer on the Griffin. There we go. Oh, that's the kill I was looking for. That's a kill. Okay. And if we deal now with the crap. Warning. Armor low. This here should be soon over. One medium laser gone, and let's hit the leg if possible. Enemy mech. Critical damage yes, detected. Locked on top. Fantastic. Oh, nice hit on that one. We can do this. Let's go. Yeah, I'll just stay out of fight, uh, out of the fight. Don't want to lose more on the fire starter. Good to go. All right, time to massacre that Cecida. 
which yeah. worked really well. No problem. Blackjack. There's only one medium laser. Uh, the crap has only one medium laser left. And we're looking at potentially getting it down. Fantastic. Good. That leaves only the Cecita, and we have a far superior combat position. Good to go. Yeah, if the Cecita can't really use its strength, which is to run fast and scout, then it alone can definitely not win this fight. Roger that. Target's taking a critical hit. Commander? Okay, very good. So the superior ledge position here with the um, eventual like fallback and re-engage that really worked out well. Only problem is at some point the uh, fire starter was just too squishy. They all focused on the fire starter and then it unfortunately went down. Two MGs, medium laser, couple of jump jets. Very unfortunate. Could get a brand new fire starter, and why not? Another part of a griffin. I think we're collecting the crab as well. Medium laser is never wrong. Yeah, wait a second. Another part of a blackjack. That's okay. And to be honest, we got all of the weapons on top of it. So. Value-wise, we got the fair share of items here. And even finished another mech. Not that we will need a second fire starter, but just in case we ever like lose uh, the one. Or in case we need uh, to uh, deploy a light-only um, lance, then the fire starter definitely is a good choice. That mech you wanted is back on. Yeah, fantastic mech, it's really good. Anyway, send to storage. And now is the point where we cannot no longer just ignore the damage that we've taken. We got to repair it, replace it, which is unfortunately nine days. Since we also lost weapons, it'll be a bit longer. I think we had MGs. New weapon systems available. Good. So another MG and another MG. I think that was the original loadout that we had. Thinking about it, might want to put the lasers in here. Takes the exact same time. And a lower chance of losing them. Damage wise, yep, that's 180 damage. I think I might be tripping with one. I might be tripping with one of uh, the jump jets. I was under the impression we had more jump jets. Equipment. Oh yeah, and we took one less laser. But yeah, we had four out of six jump jets. And two medium lasers. Yep, 
that was it. 100,016 days, which stinks. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm wondering if it is a better investment to just wait the 17 days for the Centurion and just accept that kind of uh, the fire starter will happen later. Potentially, it is the better uh, the uh, the better choice, unless we do have a mission where there is uh, going to be a mech uh, granted for us, so where we only need to field a lance of three, which seems to be not the case. Sometimes they offer you one. None of the missions, which means we actually need to wait a bit. I hate losing days because when you're up against kind of that clock, it feels that every single day is meaningful. Fantastic. Morale decreased by one. Upgrades. Good. We got the ship upgrades. Let's. So the refit harness is there. Let's also go for automation. That's another 10 days. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. We're down to 1059 days. So I think we got. Like a full fledged team. Let's see, there's a missile boat. So, yeah, we got a lance of medium only max, Centurion, Griffin. That is great. I like it, the Griffin. Uh, very versatile uh, mech that we're using kind of as a brawler. We definitely got another brawler ish type here with the Blackjack. Uh, has potential long-range weapons with the LBX-10. And the Vindicator, definitely a brawler, which will become up obsolete as soon as we got the Hunchback ready. Um, but yeah, that will take 21 more days, despite the fact that we do have more uh, tech points now. I think it was originally 30 days and now got down to 21 days. So that brings us sort of to the end of uh, this episode. Standing Redford by. still has low morale. So by thinking about it, Hogbite always was kind of a tank in front. Uh, do we make Redford another tank Order. or yes. do we let Come him on. take multi-shot? I think Redford... Um, if Redford and Hogbite become the pilots in the heavy mechs, I am actually okay with him also having Bulwark. For now, that will save us repair builds, and both of them are, uh, are doing fine. I hope very soon that we can give Mox, who's kind of more of a multi-target uh, type of guy, uh, that upgrade. Lily is injured, so that's not going to be uh, much coming from her side. Kaigen has high spirit, which means uh, that it costs less for him to use morale abilities. So might as well take him on the mission for now, uh, because he effectively can uh, use, can tank better and use some of the uh, morale shots better. So he'll get his chance. Uh, Bradford, on the other hand, uh, yeah, we'll still take him on the mission. I suppose. Bradford, Hogbite, Mox, and Tigan. it is. Good. So that brings us to the end. We still got a few missions left over here to uh, create some funds, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the content if that is the case. Uh, let's see each other in two days. Leave a comment and like down below, and have a great day. Bye-bye.